Certainly a chilly morning for buying and selling camels. Barash has set right on the uh, edge of the desert, so and on a bit of a hill. So a cold breeze coming off the desert makes it pretty chilly. So most of the camels here are from Sudan. So they've taken an ancient 30-day caravan route from Khartoum up to Aswan. Once they're in Aswan, they then trucked the 800 kilometers up to Cairo. There's a couple of coffee shops spread around the place and a breakfast place that we'll check out later, maybe for a cup of tea. One of the local coffee shops, enjoying a shisha early on. Saidi. <laughs> <laughs> So second vein, Burgos. 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 Ah, Burgos. Ah, Burgos. Ah, Burgos. Second hand, Hannah. Ah, Hannah. Okay. So for society. Tashraf. So I'm here with uh, the gentleman that controls the hot potato cart, and he clearly uh, controls the shisha pipe as well. Somebody's being photobombed. Hasn't got a clue. And I appear to have lost my sunglasses. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> to any camel trader worth their salt will have an Asaya which is one of these sticks. It helps to encourage the, uh, the camels. And of course, when you're holding it up, it gives parity of, with height of them so that you can help uh, control where you want them to go. Especially if there are five or six men, it's almost like a fence when they're holding these things up. So the price of the camels here range from $200 up to about a thousand, maybe a bit more. A lot of them are used for meat, some for breeding, and some for work. The meat is fairly inexpensive, so that's why it's quite popular. It's also pretty much disease-free. Let's go and check out one of the auctions and see what's happening. <laughs> Everybody gathering around just to see the health of the camel before they bid on it. Camel gets led around just to show that it's healthy and not limping. So the guys around the camels are chanting a blessing of admiration and sort of protection against bad things. You could see it as a positive reinforcement for the buyers. So here we have the auctioneer controlling proceedings. So, so recording all the sales, who's bid what, who the customer is that just bought those. Up the runaway camels. They're everywhere. You, you really got to keep your wits around you around here before you get run. That was a quick sidestep. Almost got run over by a camel. Not the first time today.
and the new owner gets his mark on it. Seeing that tray of food, I might head over to the breakfast joint, see what's on offer. What's all this shit? What's all this shit? No, I think I'm better. New Zealand. So a bit of a queue for breakfast, so I think I'll skip that. Nice cup of tea instead. Cheers. So it's not only camels for sale, but there are buffalo and cattle here as well. So if you sold your camels, got a bit of cash in your pocket, or a bit of credit, then you can pick up some beef or something else to take home. So a, bit of a bit of encouragement going on here. And that's how you get your camel on the track. It's been a fantastic morning and your senses are on full alert, all the sounds and all the smells, and particularly watching out that you don't get run over by an escaped camel. These people live a pretty uh, tough life, yet they're extremely friendly and welcoming. This camel route has been going on for about 700 years, so lots of the families here have been doing this for generations. One more cup of tea, then it's time to go home.